Um, I mean, I haven't played a lot of domestic cricket uh, for 12, 13 years apart from the franchise-based stuff. Yeah. And very fortunate to have played in some of the franchise or every single franchise tournament that exists. Uh, so we've been party to a lot of big crowds, which has been fantastic. I think what T20 cricket has brought to the game helps test cricket. Yeah. It brings in a brand new audience and I think it has been magnificent for the game. But since Test Cricket, I've, I'm fitter than I was when I played Test Cricket. Much fitter, because fielding, as much as I hated it, just the thought of going to the gym, the thought of actually going to do something, as hard as I did train and as hard as I, as many hours that I committed to running, uh, it's not the same now. I get load more time to spend yeah. actually going right. I've got my own trainer who trains me, and he can train me here for a tournament and get me good. And that's how I do it, there's a lot more time. So it's all about understanding situations, playing situations, and also just having a head that helps you calm things down. Because in T20 cricket you need to make d quick decisions, big decisions very quick. Yeah. In test cricket you can take a little bit more time. Uh, in one day cricket you take a little bit less time. So it's just understanding those situations. I've had the weight of expectation yeah. going out to bat for how many years playing cricket? Yeah. yeah. Uh, every time I go out I have to score 100. If I don't I get complete spray and a barrage on social media. Yeah. Play, a, play a dumb shot and I mean for two or three days it's like just don't even look at your social media feeds, yeah. you just get killed. Yeah. So I've had to deal with that yeah. for years and years and years. So for me personally to achieve what I've achieved I've had to just try and say just level it out. If you go well, well done. If you go badly, who cares? No fault of anybody, the cricket isn't on a terrestrial television, you don't get those big series. And also, kids need stars. Kids need stars. And you, in, you talk about 2005, you go through our Triscothic was a, was a star, Vaughan was a star, Freddie was a star, Harmison and his pomp was a star. You've got all these guys, they're all stars, and they played for a, for a while, they were, they were all stars. Yeah. And the Australian side, they were full of stars. Who are the stars in the England team? Who are those guys that capture the front page, back page, centre spreads? Name me one that captures a front page. Our guys captured the front pages and middle pages and stuff for the right reasons. You know when you know, and I know that I'm done. Yeah, I'm done and dusted. It's just getting up. It's not. It's not actually batting. I mean, batting last night at the MCG in front of 50,000 people and whacking it and and having a real good time. I love that. But a travel day today, having to fly and team kit all the way to Adelaide and then doing appearances in Adelaide and then training in Adelaide and then flying back in team kit and uh, having team meetings and doing. And I've got a very young family and, I've, and my priorities have shifted. My priorities have changed. And, and and I think I can make a bigger impact through Sarai than whatever I've done in, in my cricketing career. I'm going to use my cricketing career to make that big impact in Sarai. And we've signed Johnny Bairstow, so yeah. he's going to be part of the team. I'm going to get a lot of my other mates, uh, celebrities and sportsmen, to assist us in raising the profile and awareness of the, of the sort of charitable uh, brand. And I want to be able to give the Kruger National Park, through all of our followers and readers and donations, a million dollars because that will help the animals uh, survive a lot better. I want to be able to raise the money. I want to be able to say, there we go, bang, off you go. On a cricket field, yeah. there's a few. There's winning the World Cup in Barbados, there's winning that Ashes in 2005, beating India in India, beating Australia in Australia. Yeah. Those are some of the most proudest. One. It's very hard to pick one. Real hard to pick one. I mean, I've got them all tattooed. All those dates are tattooed into my arm. Because probably the most special one would be the winning of the World Cup in Barbados. Because that's when my son was born. I mean, I had to fly back to London for 24 hours, see my son born back. Man of the World Cup, won the World Cup. It was a pretty good two weeks, two, three weeks.